Hey guys, so today's episode is going to be a bit of a, I won't say tutorial, but I'm going to show you, if you watched my last video, you'd see how I was spraying with the gator, and spray, I'll put a photo up for you. So today's job is how to act, how to actually change the booms over. So step one, get the forklift. <laughs> We'll get the other boom out from where we've hit it under the old truck and then we'll get the gator and sprayer over here and I'll show you this video is practically just going to be about how we how we switch them over so there's the sprayer there just got to move a bit of stuff first Put that there and turn it off because well it doesn't have because we can't have got uh, not much left very little so got it hiding back here little four meter boom we're just going to put on behind that good old international uh what is i forgot what it is the c 1800 c and that's the 1810 d and that's my brother born around the 80 move this sideways this is just a little generator trailer uh, I don't know how many horsepower it's a Honda GX okay we've got that out of the way Simple slide. Take two or three. Pick the front of it up because we're hitting. Okay, it's not the best. It'll work. There we go. put the eight meter boom yet but I don't know because I actually got to go do some spraying tomorrow that requires the little four meter because we actually got to go put the gate on the the gate and the spray trailer on top of the trailer which I could show you the, tr the trailer I'll just put this here this pallet here because I'm gonna have to use the forklift to take off the other boom because it's pretty big Turn that off and then, if you're wondering, this is a Nissan, Nissan two and a half ton forklift, and here's a sprayer, along with a lot of other stuff in the shed, even some hay, that was very good, good enough quality we thought put in the shed instead of having it outside in the weather like we normally have with round bales. first time I've actually taken well I've taken the eight meter broom off once which is since we put this uh, form we've taken the four meter off once and this will be the first time we've taken the eight meter off to switch back to the four meter and it should be right about there that's normally when it hits the registration plate a bit too far, but since all the weight's on the back, I can just be, I can be super strong and lift it up. This is actually, this bit here is a custom little homemade tap bit, which I'll just put this in the trailer. So what we used to have to do, we used to have to get out of the gate and walk back here, turn the boom on here, but now we don't. We've adjusted that, comes up here, sits in here, and we just poke it through here. 
Then what I do, sit here, just turn the tap off there. E2 right in the moat now. So I did wash this after I last used it because the video I wasn't spraying on M Sinkia and the next day, which that was a Saturday on the Sunday, I sprayed some liquid fertilizer. because that's, that's not good enough. See so this slide out pins we need to take off. So first off I'll get this this forklift under the boom. <laughs> so it has something to rest on. Oh. And just pull the brims out a bit wider so it doesn't get caught on the nozzles there. I don't feel like smashing some nozzles. I don't feel like smashing nozzles. So just gotta come here, lift it up. Should be good. Or maybe not. Probably won't be. Put it back down. Um, what am I gonna do? I'll just go offset it a bit. So we're there. there what we've got to do next that's just barely sitting there is we go underneath here and only da my dad and I only realized when we were putting this trailer on that there's only like that much clearance because we used to have skinny tires on this we put some fat tires on because it kept sinking in so these are the custom slide ins we actually had to make and put this in as well a little four meters just got that little bit there that's the Spend side sprays only got that little one there, but I've got to just take these pins out. If it feels like it, might have to go push it forward because the pin doesn't like to come out. Nice. So just pull it out like that, sit there, and feel it being a monkey and take this other pin out it doesn't just feel like nipping me which it does there we go take those out this just used to be your normal utility trailer didn't? apparently my dad used to put this four meter boom on the back of the ute or something so let's sit you guys here, maybe, stay there, don't go anywhere, I'll pull this boom out, so as I said it has sliders, so just like this, pull it out, but first, something I didn't think of, which I probably should do, is disconnect this hose here, so, get a screwdriver or a drill, the drill is equipped, Make sure it's in reverse. Come back over. Hopefully no chemical comes out. And loosen this clamp off, which it is. Perfect. Sit you guys back down here. And just take it off. Well, it's got chemicals still in it. Different, but okay. Um, I'll sit it there. It's got all this liquid fertilizer chemicals still in it. I'll have to wash it out. It's all over my hands, but I'll just be able to pull it backwards like this. Before I get sandwiched, I'll get it. Just get on it 
backwards. So now, take that off and put the other boom icon. It's currently I've been, got it held on to that with a strap so it doesn't take back because I can't remember what we did last time now. Next thing is, we'll go chuck it in the shed. So I'm going to need something to anchor it down and uh, there will be some heavy metal over here. Now feed out, I remember I put this heavy as weight. Oh jeez, it's heavier than I thought it was when I put it in there. A solid weight of something, solid steel, and we'll just use this to anchor it down. strap off just sit that there and we can pull the lever yeah broke off we're checking in reverse Nice. Stay in there. And now I can park this up because we won't need it to put the other boom on because I can just use my hands. Because that boom isn't too heavy. I know, put the park brake on, otherwise it gets mad at me. Okay, so that's the little slide in pin there. So I'll set you guys up over here somewhere in the never never. Set you up there. Also, I have, I'll, I'll get those pins back and put them back in the boom there because I don't want to lose them. Practically half the size of the other boom. As you can see there, there's a just sit it down there. There's a little pin here that might would that I'd like it to come out, but might not. And I just put in the slide in. There we are. Put it back in. So leave your guns up there. Monkey is coming. 
Parole. So now, that is not our hose that we want. Where's the other hose? Here it is. And we put some fertilizer over all of it. We'll have to clean that back up. Put it on. Okay. Let's see if I can sit you guys somewhere here. Sit Put the drive. Okay, that's good. Perfect. It's all on. Go put the drill back and then we'll, we'll just sit the drill on the forklift for now because I'll probably have to change it later. And I'll put those pins back on and yeah, that's how we change the booms over. Well, I do. So that's how we do it. See you next time, guys.